boots on the ground, putting it down. Get up, get up. I got something to tell you. I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's Mickey D, a.k.a. the Baby Knockout Goat. I host The Scoop. I want to thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be on your electronic device. Ladies and gentlemen, I have some news for you uh, late this evening, or you may get it in the morning. Um, there's news coming out of Israel. There's news coming out of Florida. There's news coming out of Germany. All of it involves cannabis. Uh, we've, we've had a long, long road with cannabis. Uh, we've been trading cannabis for years. Uh, you guys, we were in on the big run five years ago or so. We did very, very well. You guys made a lot of dinero, and it was fun. Cannabis is a fun, fun trade. So you guys got to hang in there with us. Uh, I was looking earlier today just reviewing some, you know, I've written 10 books on cannabis, 10 of, of those 10, though, how to start a marijuana investment club. This one right here, how to start a cannabis investment club. This will be the most popular because in July, they start the cannabis club start in Germany. And many of you uh, know that German market is a huge market. Don't nothing short about that German market. Because Germany, you're talking two Californias, and California is huge, and uh, as, as you know, and we're talking maybe, you know, what, three and a half, four Floridas in one there? So uh, that's huge. And oftentimes, a trade, like we've been trading in and out of these stocks, they've been going up and down, up and down, up and down, last few years or so. Uh, when something like when when rules change and regulations change and everything, sometimes a trade turns into an investment. And that's what we're looking at with our baby knockout, with the uh, cannabis baby knockout that uh, you uh, private students received in your email this week. Uh, that could possibly turn into an investment due to legislation uh, it just start, starts off as a trade. You know, we trade in and out and make money, but uh, it can start off and be an investment. But I don't want to hold you here. I know you're, you're trading, doing your thing. Uh, like it's good morning and good afternoon, good evening to you, wherever you are in this wonderful world of ours, uh, watching basketball. Maybe you're watching the ladies and uh, they're doing their thing, which is really, really fantastic. Uh, their games are better than the guys. huh? Yeah, they're good. They're good. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at what I have here. And uh, we'll, we'll take it from there. Everything else, all our other sectors, ladies and gentlemen, they're taking care of themselves. They're just taking care. D don't even worry about it. Don't sweat. Don't even worry about uh, uranium. Don't even because problem over in that area there. Northern Kazakhstan uh, has got some problems with some flooding and all that. Uh, we'll see how it works out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, in 2014, we had an issue, uh, as you can recall, with uh, flooding in that area, and it kind of slowed things down for a couple months or so, a few months. Uh, it may do the same thing here. I don't know. We don't know. Uh, we'll know probably in the next week or so, and then we may never know. This is Russian controlled, you know, Kazakhstan, Kastatomprom, you know, those areas you guys love, right? You know, yeah. Rosatom, yeah, they always tell the truth, right? Uh, you know, they, the Clintons and Rosette. You remember the uh, – never mind. That's a story for another day. But anyway, uh, let's take a look at what's going on right now with cannabis and how it was going to affect our baby knockouts, which it already has affected a lot of stocks. Because, see, the, the Germany thing, if you, if, you had, you know, if you had stuff going on in Germany, then you got it going on right now. It's turning into an investment for you, just like that stock. But let's take a look at, at what I want you guys to see here for a second. There's a memo circulating from the Supreme Court of Florida uh, with an opinion here that uh, a ballot initiative to legalize the recreational use of marijuana under Florida law obtained the required number of signatures to trigger a mandatory judicial review of the initiative's validity. So it looks like Florida did get the number of votes needed to get this on the ballot. Uh, we shall see. Not everything on the internet is uh, is real news, but that looks like it could possibly be. And if so, that's a good thing because 
that helps uh, all of the uh, companies that are in Florida, all those mul uh, multi-state operators and, and all, all similar baby knockouts. Israel, ladies and gentlemen, has made some changes in their uh, cannabis and their marijuana uh, laws here. Uh, they're the uh, prescription process, patients with a wide uh, range of diseases, things like Parkinson's, you no longer have to obtain a license to receive medical cannabis. Uh, you will uh, be able to receive a prescription for it and, and then you'll get it if you have some, something like Parkinson's. That, that's a good thing, makes it a lot easier. Uh, the uh, H, you'll be prescribed through your HMO, uh, Israel's public, uh, uh, public health care system. Um, and all that, uh, the, the number of prescri pres prescribing physicians expected to increase uh, as today, the HMOs who are duly trained and certified and all that stuff. Uh, it looks like it's opening up in Israel uh, more if you have a play there. The uh, reports I'm getting out of Germany indicate that this party is not going to stop no time soon. Germany's partying. This is one of the biggest things to happen in Germany in a long, long time. Look at all those people. Man, that party. I mean, it's like a New Year's party over there. I mean, they're partying day and night and having a great time. Uh, do your thing, Germany. It's all good. Yeah, I, I think we're going to have a good time, too. We're going to party just like they're partying in Germany here and they're doing their thing. A big thing. Big thing, man. This is huge huge for for Germany, huge for the people. It's a victory, ladies and gentlemen. It's a victory. And we had a few stocks here lately. I know I hinted here a couple of about two weeks, week and a half or so ago. I told you this stock, Canada, these Canadian stocks were going up for a reason. Now, now mind you, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to be able to just pick any stock and any stock is going to go up. Because people were burned, their fingers were burned really bad in the last cannabis bull market. People just flunked out of, you know, marijuana 101. They flunked out. So uh, a lot of people were burned. So these companies, we got to be selective about these companies. And sometimes you have to pass. And I've had to do that before. You, you just, you know, I, I just pass on this one. But this one over here. Oh, I like the idea of this one. Yeah, I can handle that. Or I, you got to be very selective, very, very selective. And this, this is going to be a stock picker's mark. I'm talking about from uranium to uh, lithium to, you know, all our little sectors, uh, you, you know, all our areas, Bitcoin, you know, these gold and silver stock. You got to be selective. This 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 trip, this trip is going to be different. You got to be selective. But I'll show you here real quick. Uh, a couple of cannabis stocks that started going up already based on just uh, uh, hardly any information. L ladies and gentlemen, as you can recall, Canopy, I told you Canopy was racing up. And this is a 200-day moving average right here for Canopy. I said Canopy looks like it's going to go up past, it past its 48-day its, uh, moving average, which is the red right here. And I said it's going to go up to 200. It's going up strong. Yeah, it went up really strong here. It's pulling back now. But it did crash through the 200-day moving average. Canopy might be a good stock for some to play this play. Uh, I'm going to sit Canopy out this one. That may be a mistake. I may get in later, but I have none of it right now. Uh, it seems like uh, they're one of only three uh, that can grow uh, cannabis in uh, the country of Germany. So they're one of three. So they got a, They got a head start. They got up on a lot of companies. And I believe that's why we had the big jump when when they sensed everybody was sensing that uh, Germany was going to legalize. Another one in Canada that has a license to grow in the country of Germany is Aurora Cannabis. But, you know, see, Aurora is a little, little 200 day moving average is tough to get through uh, for a, a lot of uh, uh, resistance there. Uh, when it comes to uh, Aurora getting up, you know, they did the reverse splits and all that other stuff. And uh, we don't like what Aurora's done, but that's not how we pick stocks. So uh, if you, I'm, I, like I said, I'm not riding with the OGs. We did, you remember, Aurora did us really, really justice 
uh, when it went up to what, what was it, thirteen, fourteen dollars uh, when we first got it in Canada. Remember, I was at the uh, at a conference with the uh, super trader and the CEO from cannabis and from Aurora Cannabis had done before he could complete his his uh, his uh, uh, talk, you know, before he can complete his stuff. He had left the room. And, you know, I, he came back. I said, what'd you do, man? He said, I bought 5,000 of this. At the time, it was only like 30 cents or so. But it did us, it, we did really, really well, this thing. It went way up for us, the first round. Uh, but now, uh, we'll see. We'll see, guys. They, they've done a lot of things uh, that, you know, it, it's probably going to do very, very well this cycle uh, in the long run. So those are two OGs for you that we're not playing this way. We do know what stocks we're playing and our stocks are going to do very, very well. What stocks we're trading? Why, why do you say playing? Playing? It's like basketball. I've been watching too much basketball or something. You're playing. This team is playing that team. Duke is playing Iowa. This uh, Somebody's playing somebody, you know. <laughs> anyway, love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family, ladies and gentlemen. Say a, a prayer for Pops here. My Pops is uh, in the in the uh uh, in the hospital tonight, and uh, we're praying for him. He's uh, a little under the weather, but uh, he's a you know he's strong, strong like his son. He'll be straight. There he is, my dad. We're hanging out at Planet Thirteen, uh, doing our thing, just doing a taste test over there. But uh, he's going to be well. That's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had a wonderful Easter, you and your family, and everybody's recovering from all that good food and stuff that. Grandma, mom, or uncle, or aunt, or mom or dad, or someone cooked, or you cooked. I uh, hope you're having a, a uh, wonderful trading week as we start this week off and make things happen. Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen. I say a prayer for my pops. He'll be straight. Um, love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family. Have a wonderful, wonderful trading week.